<laughs> nice. Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Tal Flater Mouse. The term wax slug is somewhat of a misnomer. It's almost like pencil lead or tin can or tin foil or head cheese. It doesn't really uh, describe what these rounds are. So you have to, when you tell someone about them, you have to kind of explain, okay, it's not actually solid wax. It's, it's a matrix of birdshot and wax. The wax is simply like cement and the the birdshot is like the ballast or pea gravel in a cement. So that you know, you always have to spend five minutes explaining <laughs> what these are whenever you tell someone who's never heard of them before. And the other problem is when people hear the word slug, they want to compare it to a factory deer slug. And really the two rounds are completely different. This would better be compared to a breaching round than to any other type of ammunition. Now the biggest advantage of these is the Computer cost, drive, about 25 cents a round. Hit. They're easy to make oh. and they have very impressive results. I haven't met anyone who hasn't been impressed with these things after they've shot them. And they do have a tremendous amount of energy transfer right. when they hit something. And when they do hit something, they, they fragment. So they're kind of like a frangible result. round too. <laughs> Once you explain somebody about wax slugs, the first thing they always ask is, doesn't it foul the barrel with wax? This is my barrel. I pulled it directly off my shotgun and didn't clean it or anything after 100 rounds of wax slugs. So hopefully that answers that question for you. Now that we've gotten a lot of those details out of the way, we're at our local rifle range. We brought 100 rounds of wax slugs, and this is Mark. He has been in my videos before shooting, for example, my P90 and he's just a super intelligent young man he's an eagle scout and always happy to help me make these videos so i definitely want to thank him for all his help ready yeah i'm ready it's easy to yeah. oh that's three because if i if i try to pull my shooter all the way back it throws off my Okay, ready. Nice. Okay, ready when you are. Right in the center. Yeah, you hit it right in the center. Now, these rounds are definitely accurate enough to, to hit a human sized object at 15, 25, 50 yards. 100 yards, you'd be kind of pushing your luck, I think. Uh, but just for fun, we wanted to shoot at those gongs, which are uh, 220 yards away, just to show you how these things perform. 220 yards. Whenever you're ready. It sounded like it hit at least inside the uh, shed. Oh, it may have. It's not that bad. I don't know if you can adjust it or just be steady as you can. Uh, I'd like to go. Ready to go? Yeah, well, it's safety's on, okay? That was close. Yeah? So it was right uh, below it. comfortable for you if you can. Better? Yeah. No rear sight, 220 yards. Oh, that went really far off. Did you see it? Being able to hit that close at 220 yards is still kind of impressive when you think about it. These things have the aerodynamics of a soup can, and they're home brewed made out of the cheapest birdshot rounds you can buy at Walmart. And they will travel over 400 yards if you really lob them out there. And you might be able to hit the broadside of a barn at that distance. But really, that's not what these are about. These are for close range shooting. And they, people have speculated they might be good home defense rounds. But as far as this cheap shooting where you want to just blast stuff and have fun, that is where these things are really impressive. Hopefully this is giving you a little more insight about these wax slugs. Thanks for watching.